Hey YouTube, this is JBBay, JBBay, and today I will show you how to add and create plugins in Siri Proxy in Ubuntu 10.11. For instructions how to get um, Siri Proxy on this, I'll put the link in the info box. Um, so, you have to watch that first. Just go ahead, watch it, watch this, whatever. So, um, to get started, we're going to have the first CD into the file directory. Usually it's just this code right here. It's not actually going to be in the Siri Proxy folder. That if you just go to Home Siri Proxy Plugins, that will not work. You have to actually go to the main directory right here. So to get there, it's going to type cd space period rbm enter, cd space gems enter, cd space ruby dash 1.9.3 dash lowercase p zero at capital S, I R I, capital P, R O X Y, enter. Then we're gonna do C D space gems, C D space Siri proxy, all lowercase, dash zero point three point zero, enter, C D plugins, and then we're gonna do N A U T I L U S space dot, and that's going to open up the plugin folder. So, this is where you're going to want to put all your plugins. So, as you see, I already have a couple here. Siri Proxy, that's what she said. If you uh, want to see that in action, I'll put the link in the um, info box also so you can watch a quick video. And this is just um, <clears throat> a test one basically, so I can test a couple commands. It's very simple to make, so if you want to just make a one with if you uh, say something, you want to hear something back, you can want to write, um, just tap once to highlight the Siri Proxy example. So you right click, then you click copy, click out, and click paste. So you're going to have two Siri Proxy examples. Then just rename it to whatever you want. For this instance, I'm going to remove the copy. And next to example, I'll just put a one. So it's Siri. Oops, I did that wrong, sorry. I'm going to actually want to put the one after example. Siri proxy is going to always say the same dash, that's where your name is going to be. <clears throat> so you're going to always want to have Siri proxy dash, then the name. So this is my new one right here. I'm going to double click on it and just rename everything to Siri proxy dash example one. <clears throat> add a one right there. I'm going to open this up. I'm going to add a one to the Siri Proxy example name to the to name on do Siri Proxy as example one. Then over here, <clears throat> sorry, I'm gonna add a one here also. Then I am going to click save. Then I'm gonna open the lib file. Also make sure you rename this to whatever you named it. Hold it. I'm gonna open that up. And then I'm gonna you must do this also. In your class, you're going to want to, where it says example, you're going to want to add a 1 after it, or whatever you called it. <clears throat> then you're ready to go. So, you're going to scroll down until you see the listen for, and then test Siri Proxy, do say, then it's going to say Siri Proxy is up and running. So you just easily edit this to whatever you want. So I'll say, I get listen for, in the, print, in the um, two slashes, I'll just enter something. So let's say when I say listen for YouTube, do, then that's what we wanted to say once you say YouTube. So when I say YouTube, Siri's going to say, this is a test for YouTube. And then just make sure that the request complete is under it, and then end is after that. Whatever has a um, pound sign or hash, you could just delete, but that's just something so you can see no whatever has a hashtag you will not uh, will not affect the script so once you um, enter whatever you want to say you are good click save so uh, make sure that whatever you want to say for to Siri is in green make sure there's an I after that make sure the do is red and what you want Siri to say is in pink and make sure that end is in red after it that just so it doesn't keep looping it then when you're finished you can click save Good X out of that once you save it. Go back into the Siri Proxy um, plugins. 
Then you're going to want to copy it just by going to the folder, Siri Proxy Desk Example 1. You're going to want to copy it. And then you're going to minimize that. You're going to want to open a new, um, uh, fo new folder. Oops, wrong one. So you're going to just, all you're going to do is just go, it's going to open up in home. You're going to want to click. Siri proxy, plugins, and you want to just paste the folder right there. So this is the Siri proxy plugin from the home directory, and then I also have one in the Siri proxy dash 0.3.0 plugins directory. We're almost done. Then all you have to do is just um, in terminal, you're going to want to enter cd. Siri proxy then do that uh, same code N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S space period that's going to enter the uh, um, folder which has can, which holds the config.yml whenever you add a new plugin you must enter it in the config.yml so what you have to do is just copy the uh, original one it's, it always comes with example Whatever else is under here, the example A, that's what she said, it's not going to be there when you first download Siri Proxy. So you're going to want to copy that and then just paste it somewhere. And you must make sure this is lined up or will not work. So make sure it's all lined up. Add the um, name, which is in my case example 1, and then to the path to period space period slash plugin slash Siri proxy desk example one click save from my page it should say example example one and then example one over here also or whatever your name is you can always be Siri proxy desk and then the name of your file then you're gonna click save you get x out of that so then I'm gonna cd into my Siri proxy by doing cd Siri proxy and click enter. I already entered it, so I'll just delete that. Then I'm going to type Siri proxy bundle. Then I'm going to do bundle install. And then, then you're uh, clear to go. Then you're in this uh, Siri proxy directory on terminal. You're going to just do rvm sudo Siri proxy server. Enter your password. And then Siri Proxy is running, so you can click the home screen. It should, when you uh, start Siri, it should work. Let's try this. YouTube. This is a test for YouTube. There we go, and that's how to create and add a plugin for Siri Proxy. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.